Hey my boo-boos, it's your favorite YouTuber, no boo-boo to see. Back at it again, honey, with another video. Yes, I told you guys I'm going to keep giving it to you, okay? Okay. So, today's video, I'm going to be doing this look. It's a get ready with me, full get ready with me. So, if you like what you see, honey, press the like button right now. Press it, okay? And stay tuned, guys. Love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Hey my loves, let's get into the video, hey, let's get into the video hey y'all know i like to jam out when i do my makeup y'all don't take makeup so seriously guys it's so much fun okay so we're gonna start off with a fresh face i'm gonna be looking over there because that's where my mirror is right so don't be bothered by that and then down there is where all my makeup is so if i'm looking down there and up there you know what it is okay so we're gonna start off with some foundation i've already primed my skin um we're gonna go in with the fit me i'm in the color 332 honey okay and then we're just gonna apply that all over our face generously <laughs> i go in sometimes but that's not a lot actually that's like that's a good day. This is a good day. So we're going to take a damp beauty blender. So I've already run to that under my, under running water. And then I squeezed it out and then just going to use that to pat in your foundation, honey, until it is seamless. Okay, honey, we want it to look natural. Okay. So you're going to pat that in all over your, all over your face. Um, don't forget guys um when you are applying the foundation all over your face you want to go down your neck as well so that it does not look like you're wearing what 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 a mask honey we do not want to look like you're wearing masks okay yeah don't mind me guys i'm literally having the time of my life i was like jamming out having a good day so next up we're gonna go in with our candid um from revlon which is one of my favorite concealers so we're gonna go and we're gonna go in with it under our eye one thing i forgot to do which is one of my favorite steps is to actually apply powder before foundation but this was not that kind of a day okay it was not that kind of a day it was gonna be a very short day so yeah so you're gonna let the concealer sit for like a few minutes jam out honey jam 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 hey hey jam 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 yay <laughs> okay we're gonna whoa for a bit okay and then we're gonna go back in with our beauty blender and we're gonna conceal our under eyes we're gonna apply that concealer using our beauty blender under our eyes um over our eyelids you know just to cover up you know those late nights honey okay because coffee does not do the job sometimes <laughs> So we're just going to conceal and then we need to set that concealer. So this is the trick with me. I use the Revlon Candid Powder. Um, it's slightly darker in a darker shade. So I like to mix it with my, um, what is it, baby powder. Yeah. So guys, that's my secret. Um, if you happen to have or you if you've happened to run out of um setting powder you can always use baby powder guys it works just as good but if you have both or you have one that's not really in the color that you like which for me is banana i just mix the two and then it just does the job honey it does it so we're going to use a brush by the way that um baby powder smells amazing i got it at pip so we're going to dust off the excess powder off our face that is what we are going to do because we don't want to look cakey and ghostly 
so next up i'm gonna go in with the essence um contour palette and then we're gonna i'm gonna go in with a deeper um, shade of brown and then we're gonna contour um our faces okay we're gonna contour that face for the gods honey per usual okay so yeah, guys, like I said, we're going to contour for the gods, but don't forget to jam out, honey. You know, have fun. Enjoy yourself. You know, have fun with it. Have fun with it. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> okay, guys, so our next step, we're going to take a small flat brush, okay? something like this and then we are going to dip it into the same uh, palette and then we're going to go down the bridge of our nose so we're going to start off from the corner of our eye just above the corner of our eye and then we're going to go all the way down to the tip of our nose just so that our nose looks slimmer honey okay and then we're going to go in with our powder foundation just so that you know everything looks in sync okay so that we look like the goddesses that we are and that's on per okay so you're gonna dip your brush into your foundation then you're just gonna blend everything in in circular motion all over your face ta-da so i went ahead and did my brows as well as my eyelashes i put on some mascara and this is the mascara that i used i will put the name of the mascara down below but i bought it um on takealot.com honey okay and then we're just gonna let that dry and then we're gonna apply our lashes later but for now let's jam it out honey let's do this okay next up blush 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 you can use any blush that you prefer or you like and then yeah we're just gonna apply that on our cheek areas obviously you know guys i like to pull my blush all the way up towards my ear area I don't know, I just don't like putting it in one spot. It just doesn't make sense. So that the blush doesn't look too harsh, okay? Too harsh. We want to look crazy. Uh, we're going to go in uh, with our um, um, foundation brush again. And then we're just going to pat um, it over the blush just to, you know, quieten it a bit. Because we don't want it to be too noisy. Okay? Yes, honey. <laughs> don't know what i was doing there but yeah literally losing it but yeah next step okay we're gonna go in with the blush again this is another trick that i like to do so i do like to apply the blush on my nose on the tip of my nose i don't know it just makes me look cute-ish you know just gives you that like i don't know it's cold outside kind of look and yeah and it, it is winter here in essay so um I don't know, it just I just feel like it looks cute guys. It just warms up my face even more. So I'm gonna go in with a highlighter. You can use any highlighter you want. Um this was a gold highlighter that I bought somewhere and uh, nowhere known. It was just some um makeup boutique um in China Mall. Yeah, and I picked it up because it was I liked um the pigmentation on it. So yeah, I'm gonna apply that and then yes don't worry about my eyelashes we're gonna get that done okay so don't worry about it <laughs> so yeah guys next up is my fixing spray i've also got this at take a lot we'll put it down below so you guys know the name of it so when you if you are interested in buying it you can just look it up and then yeah purchase it um so once the um spray fixing spray is semi dry on your face you can just go in with your beauty blender tap it in to just get rid of like any excess moisture and oils on your skin and i don't know it just locks the makeup in try it guys don't ask me why i do just try it okay yeah <laughs> um okay so next up i'm gonna take my brow brush and i'm just gonna brush the hairs of my eyebrows upwards just to maintain you know the shape and the look um because we have been like moving around our face okay hair o'clock okay guys so it's time to do our hair so i decided to just go in with like a simple messy bun you know you know the vibes and 
don't come for my hairline okay we are working on it honey we are working on it a little continue honey a little continue so i'm gonna go in with my um hair food it's called black chic so i'm just gonna apply that all over my hair um because we don't want our hair to look dry yeah so i'm gonna go in with my comb brush up brush my hair upwards um you can do a low bun you can do a high bun it's really up to you and then we are gonna steal the husband's uh, brush and i'm gonna brush my hair um just so that it looks neater and then we're gonna go in with a scrunchie and then we're just gonna tie that up tie it up as tight as you want um yeah That looks about right cute so um you can use um hair extensions um some people prefer to depending on the texture of your hair my hair is obviously relaxed so um i just got like uh bits and pieces of strands of weave that were left over from the times i've like made my wigs so i'm using that it would be better if you would sew them in together so it would just be quicker it would just be a quicker process than putting them you know in bits so that would be my advice to you uh, so i'm gonna apply that uh, around um our, my pony i'm just gonna lock it in um once i'm satisfied with the volume or the amounts of the weave um then i can just tie it up forming another pony or bun rather and yeah we're gonna lock it in with this a smaller scrunchie um some people prefer to use um pins hair pins um i don't i just prefer doing it this way it's quicker and easier for me and it doesn't take up much time okay <laughs> don't worry it's secure my bun is secure honey it is not going anywhere okay honey now that the pony or our bun is secure we're gonna go in with our argan oil i got this baby from clicks honey i mean i'm telling you you cannot go wrong you cannot go wrong so obviously we're gonna use a toothbrush I don't have those like fancy like cute ones i just use like a normal toothbrush um that i had that i haven't used so i just took that and I, i'm gonna use it to create my baby hairs so we're gonna swirl okay if you don't know what swirl is google it okay so we're gonna go in like swirl like motions uh with our hairline like i said don't come for my hairline okay okay i love it i love myself i love everything about me Guys, you don't even understand. Like, it's been a struggle for real. A loot to continue, okay? Struggle continues. But we are working on it. We are looking better than we did last year. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I will do a video on what I did to actually grow my hairline ish. <laughs> but we still look cute, okay? Per period. So we're gonna go in swirl like motion. So what we're gonna do is, as you brush it off in a swirl like motion, you're gonna go in right afterwards with your finger just to flatten it and make it, uh, make sure that it actually sits the way you want or you the way you've brushed it. So that's what we're gonna do with the hairline. So uh, next up, we're gonna go in with our lashes. These ones, obviously, I've used before. Um, they, I just like them because they look uh, more natural. And this is the glue that I'm going to use. I also got this from takealot.com. We'll um, put it down below so that you guys see the name of it so that you can also purchase it. Um, so, yeah, I like these lashes because they actually look natural. And I normally wear lashes like this um, just on days where I don't want to really do too much. Or just basically during the day when I'm just going for like lunch or like an early dinner with like bae or my friends. So that's what I do, honey. I do the short. 
short look because it's cute and it's natural and it's like, you know, it's me. It's like, girl, these are my lashes, okay? What do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, honey. So what I like to do is obviously I blow out um, the glue until it's like a bit tacky. With this one, I like it because it doesn't really take that long for it to get tacky or for it to um become the texture that i actually wanted to like that gluey sticky texture so once you get that um then you just apply just pop it onto your natural lashes but i wouldn't recommend that guys um i've started what i've started doing is i i've i actually apply eyeliner just above my um eyes and then i apply the false lashes just above my natural because then you just avoid a lot of damage to your natural lashes so yeah next up is our lips so i'm gonna use this um black opal um pencil liner you can call it yeah pencil liner um i'm gonna use the brown and i'm just gonna um line my lips i like to overline my lips like i told you guys because it just makes them look more voluptuous more plumpy more you know cute and then i don't know i don't know why I, I, this lipstick i forgot where i bought it from it was a while back but um yeah it's called kiss beauty in 16 i don't know guys like just i don't know where i got it from i'm sorry uh, i'm not gonna lie i don't know uh but it's a cute color it's um sort of like a peach peachy color so we're gonna use that um today okay fine babe i just had to do honey slow motion wet <laughs> i'm too much i'm crazy so i will be back hey so um i had to put on the that um silk like duck on my head just to lay my hair down and to lay my edges down even more period so we look good we look fine we look like snacks we look like meals we look like hey everything three course meal call it whatever you want we're gonna take this liner pencil that i got a while back from clicks and then we're just gonna um place like beauty spots where they naturally are because obviously we've applied a lot of foundation honey a lot of layers so <laughs> um they're kind of hidden underneath so we're just gonna place them back there honey and yeah we're gonna blot them out so that they don't look too uh, unnatural and yeah tada Period, honey. Okay. Period. Okay. We look good. Okay. We look fine. We look tasty. Okay. We look like wine on a Sunday in a vineyard somewhere in Cape Town. Okay. Mwah. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Support your girl. We are done for the day. Bye. Um, by the way, this is um, my final outfit. I decided to just go for like a cute monochrome black and white kind of look. Uh, it was cold, so we went for the sweatpants, the, the relaxed look. And yeah, we look scrumptious, honey. Subscribe for more videos, guys. Love you so much. Bye.